Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick fix video. If you've been updated to anniversary update and notice that Cortana stopped working, what do you do? Well, we're going to actually show you a fix with the registry editor. Um, first of all, if you're not super, um, super at ease in using the registry editor, if you fear going there and doing changes, um, I would suggest just to wait and uh, you'll have a cumulative update that's supposed to fix it. Um, you can, of course, fix probably Cortana with this. Um, one very important thing is that it might not fix it for everybody, but it seems to work for a lot of people. And there are a few differences, so I'm going to share this with you. So what you do, right click on the start button at the bottom left. Click the run. Type regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. That's the registry editor. Regedit, press enter. Click yes. Now what you want to do is expand the different categories. So you'll have each key current user. Expand that one. Go down to software, expand that one. Go down to Microsoft and expand that one. Go down to Windows and expand that one. There you'll want to expand current version. And in current version, you will search or look for search but don't expand search you don't want to expand it you just want to click on search and now you'll have all sorts of little uh, things here what you need to do first of all check for can Cortana be enabled this has to be a one like I have here if it's not right click click modify the value data enter one and click OK, that will enter that value here. Go down to Cortana Consent. Right click, modify. If it says 0, you want to be a 1. Modify it. Change it for a 1. Click OK. Cortana enabled. If it's a 0, once again, you'll right click, modify. You'll want this to be a 1. Click OK. And basically, um, there's another one called Ask Cortana being enabled. Once again, modify if it's a zero, you want to put a one. These are all the little places you want to change that. Now, one I don't have here at all, but you might have it in yours. If you have something that is called Bing search engine here. So you'll have something in the B side here, which is uh, not engine, enabled. Bing search enabled. Okay, I don't have it in mine. So Bing search enabled is not here for mine. And it might not be on yours. But if you see Bing search enabled, you want that to be a one also. It's very important. That needs to be a one also. So uh, basically, right click on it and change it for a one. And you can shut down the registry editor once that is done. You might need to restart your computer. And uh, well, just go into Cortana after the restart and ask her something like, what's the weather like? and it's working. So hopefully that is a fix that's going to work for you. Try it out and uh, be careful not to change anything else. Be careful not to uh, change anything in the registry other than what I showed you. And hopefully it works. Um, if you try it, please let me know if it does work. Uh, I'd be interested to know if uh, that fixed it for you or not, even if you didn't tell me. So we'll see that maybe there are different types of problems with Cortana. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and hopefully hope you enjoy and that my videos help you.